Let's now dive down into a medium level algorithm. So at the mid level, here's, here's kind of how play proceeds. I get my bearings, that is, I look around, I change the angle of my character so that I'm looking around, see where I am, kind of check on my status, I get my bearings, I move around a little bit, I check my map, and so I know where I'm going, I know where I am, I know where I have to proceed to next. I check my backpack, my backpack is my inventory of all the little items that I've collected along the way, um, and then I start off on a quest. A quest in, wor in World of Warcraft is a mission, you have to accomplish some goal, and that's really, that's as much as you really need to know about a quest. You're trying to accomplish a goal with your character, sometimes in conjunction with other characters, sometimes alone. Okay, you confront a mob, that's this mobile creature, that's a bad guy, a creep, it's what the, the game produces in order to put an obstacle in your way, um, and then you defeat them. You engage in ability, this is some, something that you have, some method of, of attacking, or some, some way that you have, and I, I don't want to be any more specific than that, you engage in ability, which means that you turn on something that you have, some, some, something you're able to do, and that defeats, the, that defeats the mob, that defeats the bad guy, and you win. Okay, get the idea? That's the, that's the mid-level process, that's the process of playing World of Warcraft at the mid-level. At the high level, we talked about you just log in, and then you do stuff. Now we're talking more specifically about some of the stuff that you do. You're moving around, you're attacking, you're doing things that, that, um, that you need to do in order to, um, in order to uh, gain your goal. Alright, so that's at the mid-level. Now let's look at the, um, the algorithm for the mid-level play. Okay, so remember again, we have the player's computer, which is the client. We have the login server, which is no longer in the picture, right? Login server is out of the picture. We're done with the login server. We have the game server and the data server. So the game, it's really now, it's a matter of you communicating with the game server and the game server communicating with the data server when it needs to. Okay, so I'll draw your attention to one other little piece here. In big is you, your personal computer, but up in the corner, um, uh, in, in a series of small copies of your computer, or a bunch of other people who are doing the same thing at the same time, right? So everybody's communicating with this with this game server all simultaneously, and um, and uh, so you need to take that into account as well. Okay, so now here's the algorithm. Here's the way of thinking about this more mechanically. I gave you the story form. Let's talk about the form that is um, uh, that's more mechanical. So the first thing that happens is your client detect some action that you did, it's some, something that you did, some keystroke, some something. And it could be anything from engaging in ability, moving around, communicating with somebody, um, uh, you know, pointing to the enemy that you want to capture, or sorry, point to the enemy that you want to defeat, picking up something that the enemy dropped, all those different things are all actions. First thing your client has to do is detect the action, and dete having detected what you did, update your display immediately so you get no lag at all between, for example, moving a foot forward and actually going forward through space. Um, then it updates your display. First thing it does is detect what you did. Second thing it does is figure out what the impact of what you did was. Third thing it does is display changes to your, dis your display changes to your uh, client's uh, application that reflect the things that you did. Then it'll update the local cache. So the local cache, remember, is your storage of the global information, your information like what your position is or whatever on your local hard drive and then you may very well just go and do that again. Right? There's, that's, that's kind of a loop that you take. So your client computer is constantly going through this loop. Detect the action, figure out what to do about it, update the display, make any changes to the data on your, on your, um, on your local computer. Round and round and round in a loop. That's what your, th that's what your, um, your client computer is doing. However, it also sends updates at the same time to the server because every action that you take has to be communicated up to the server so that it knows how to, how, what you're doing in relation to the rules of the game as well as what you're doing in relation to other players of the game. So what does the server do? You made an action. You sent a message about that action to the, um, to the server. The server now receives that update. So from you, it got an update of what you did. You, um, you engaged, uh, you, you know, let's just say, say you, you, you moved forward one step. Um, it calculates changes, so it's figuring out, okay, he moves forward what, one step, what does that mean? Now where is he? Now where is he in relation to creatures? Is he close enough to attack a creature, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Um, updates the, the cache storage, so it's updating its local storage. It also updates the database. So it may have to store... Now I know this is getting a little confusing with all the places things are stored, but think about it as a bunch of copies that are useful in the near term. 
and the only one that ultimately is going to matter is the one on the database. You have a cache, a copy on your local hard drive to make things fast on your computer. You have a cache, a copy on the, on the gaming server to make things happen fast on the gaming server. And you have the permanent record on the database. So it may or may not need to update the database, but if it does, it's going to update the database. And so that gets data and it sends data to the database. And then it updates you. It updates your client. It updates your machine with what's going on now. What are other people in your vicinity doing? What's that mob, that creature that you're attacking doing, et cetera, et cetera. And then notice it goes back to your computer. And your computer is also going to calculate changes to display based not only on what you did, but on what all the other characters that are around you did and what the environment around you is doing. And then you'll go back through updating the display, updating the local cache, and then sending status to the server. So this is another loop. Going round and round and round, your own computer, your own local computer is doing this loop, going round and round and round, observing your behavior and making changes. But it's also sending the results of those changes back up to the server. And then the server is updating you, and you're updating based on what's happening on the server. Kind of complicated, right? Kind of sophisticated. And don't forget, up in the corner here, meanwhile, everybody else is doing that as well. So this server is just going crazy, keeping track of everybody's changing everything that they've done and, and keeping them up to date on what everybody else has done. So to a large extent, this shows that the, uh, the game server is like a switchboard. It's getting in all these messages and it's passing out all these other messages. But between getting and passing it out, it's also calculating changes. It's calculating, oh, did you just die? Did the creature you're attacking just die? Do you now have more things in your backpack? Have you just moved up a level? Are you now you know, able to do things that you weren't able to do before? So it's not only just sending and receiving, it's also calculating in the middle and then updating all the machines. Okay, high level algorithm where there's just a loop going between you and the client machine, you and the server, your client and the server. A little mid-level mid where we see both the interaction of your local computer on itself and the interaction with the server. So we've zoomed in a little bit. And now we're going to zoom in to a final level, a low level process.